So they finally released the patch notes that happened on current gen, man. Y'all didn't know there's like a one gigabyte patch for next gen, but like a 40 gigabyte patch current, man. They just released it on the day that they dropped all this season six rewards. I just dropped a video on that. Y'all go check it out after you watch this, man. It's, it's, it's insane. What is the ISO guy sensei, the greatest? 2k in existence and let's get into these patch notes man current gen patch update 4323 okay we got a waist category now we can wear the duck things that uh people wear on next gen to make their player bigger as in more burly the bigger you are the easier it is to play d and like box out etc so you know people be rocking the duck tubes <laughs> that's crazy right Hey, if y'all get this video to 700 likes, I will do a $50 giveaway. Make sure y'all subscribe if you don't the adrenaline bars in 2K23. Okay, we got larger hairstyles when uh, hats are being equipped. Okay, they fixed some high band elbows, some Miami Heat stuff. Okay, they fixed the uh, double dribble um, glitch that post scores. You know, you know what's so funny? They took out the momentum behind the back, all this glorious dribbling stuff, but still kept post scores in the game. That should tell you where they aiming, my boy. What y'all think? They fixed my career cameras, fixed some disconnect issues, fixed some ball trail issues, pause. <laughs> Fix got next markers popping up. Fix the error coding when you open up the my health um, bar on current gen. More, more stability stuff. Okay, so for next gen, they updated some players. Bro, guys, y'all have to start spamming 2K. Listen, to make it to where we get player mascots, like we could turn exactly into the player. Uh, they got have whole player mascot rewards, hair player rewards, their face scan rewards, or just have that in the game. Like, they're lost, bro. They're lost. They all need to be fired. It's crazy. That's off the dome, bro. Imagine if I got paid 100K for that to really design the game. Like, come on. It's, it's literally already in the game. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro, I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, they fixed the uh, double dribble on uh, next two. Uh, their stability for the city. Do y'all think they're going to stick with the city? Because every three years, they always switch it up, right? It's three years for 24. Y'all think they gonna switch it up to something? You think they gonna go back or forward? The world. <laughs> Y'all think we gonna be traveling the planets and shit? Okay, so I think they patched the Cold World uh, thing. The Cold War glitch, the badge glitch, and I'm not too sure. Y'all let me know if y'all notice any gameplay stuff, what y'all notice about the patch, etc. Anywho, bro, what I would like to see in a patch, and y'all let me know down below what would make you play 2K23 more, or if you are completely content, man. We're accepting all opinions. Even though I might be different from a lot of y'all, y'all just have to understand I'm at the top, bro. I'm the MJ of this hoe, you know? I'm at the top, so my thoughts about the games is gonna look different from, you know, most people's, man. And that's just how it is. Even though y'all might think you're so cold, like apparently, like bro, 21% be having the biggest egos, just delusional. Don't matter how many times I score on them, just doesn't count. I'm a cheesehead. <laughs> it's bad, bro. But anywho, man, the adrenaline bars. This is the worst thing 2K has ever added. M many people aren't saying that they don't want it in the game because they don't want to be viewed as bad. Um, but no one likes it. It's completely ruined the game. It made 2K23 the worst 2K ever. It could have probably not have been that, but it's not good, bro. And I know some some of y'all are probably gonna say, oh, you just can't adjust, blah, blah, blah. I have a hundred win percent, okay? I've dropped off plenty of stage people, and I play a lot of randoms, which y'all don't get to see a lot of people do, and I go crazy. Even with people stream sniping me, I do fairly well. I damn, I damn near win every game, unless like someone throws the game. Like, like they deliberately have to snipe me and throw the game. I'm winning with trolls that's cutting, and I can't even go dunk on a bot build, you know. <laughs> and I, I be people be stream sniping me, and I be dropping them off. Stage players, all types of stuff. So I know what I'm talking about. My stamina, my adrenaline bar control is probably better than 95% of people 
in 2K. So I've adjusted, you know. So that's not the reason. And I could still do everything I could do in the past 2K. It's just, it makes the game slower paced, less realistic, more arcadey, man. A lot of y'all say slower means more realistic and all that, which is not true, bro. Basketball is a very fast paced game. Adrenaline bars are, it's literally a arcade feature. This is not realistic. No one has dribble bars in real life. People can dribble forever, man. They don't get tired in a game to 21. Pro-Am, yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, 5v5, they get tired, but a game to 21, a 99 overall that's better than MJ? Come on, bro, that's not real. That's why they didn't have stamina back in the day, bro. But um, like little kids can just dribble and play basketball forever. Me myself, I can play forever. I have, I'm not, and I'm not a top five, top one percent cardiovascular athlete on uh steroids that increase my endurance. I'm not that like these NBA players are, which is the game. But um, it creates a very arcade feature, like a boost feature type of, if y'all ever played arcade games, it's not like, for some reason, people think old 2Ks is arcade, when th that's not true. When you go to an arcade, are you actually doing all these intricate combos? No, you're doing one move, going real fast, and scoring very easy. 2K is becoming more arcadey open your eyes when y'all keep saying this realistic stuff you're giving them a reason to not change the game and make it better okay i know this is very unpopular thoughts very unheard of thoughts but this is the real bro you have to call this unrealistic and not real for them to change the game and focus on the things that are not real you know realistic bro that's what you have to focus on to create change. If you keep saying all this arcadey stuff, you give them a reason and a shield to not change the game. This game is extremely cheesy and broken. I could fade damn, damn near every play. Watch me play, watch any comp player play. People saying you can't dribble all that, go look at Steezo. There's plenty of people who can dribble and do anything. Like all that stuff is cat, bro. Even casuals don't like the game, man. I ask people, I've never really ran into anyone that likes the game. I be in game chat all the time. Everyone who comes in my stream, not even the casuals, fuck with 2K23. You know, I see a random comments, people saying this is like the best 2K ever. And I just never meet those people. I would love to like verse them and like really do them bad to really see how they really feel about the game. The paint D is extremely unrealistic, man. People with an 80 dunk, dunking on 99 block, 99 interior with rim tape while they're a way bigger my player. Crazy, bro. Insane. Very unrealistic. And then random times where you get blocks or you throw them out the animations, it's like it's just RNG. It's just a chance of an animation. It's not predictable. If your game not predictable, it's horrible. The defense is probably the worst it's ever been. And y'all could really see that if there were no adrenaline bars, you could really see what people could really do. You know, um, I've always told y'all, man, the answer is not to nerf the offense and make it slow and boring because then you create a dead game, you know, an unexciting game to watch. Uh, the answer is to increase the defense, bro. All the people that's been begging for all the, this offense of nerfs, Guess what? They finally got it, and they don't like the game when they play offense. They not doing nothing. They, they don't like it. I'm not moving fast enough. Yeah, you don't like that hoe, do you? It, it really holds people's hands. It's, it's like a stupid bot won't have a chance at beating a decent person, but a decent person can hang with top players way easier than ever before because the skill gap's so diminished. So like, uh, say someone's a six, they can hang with a nine because the skill gap's so diminished, right? And it should never be like that. A nine should win every time and destroy them. It shouldn't be no chance, you know, if they really like going hard. And I think that that's just a recipe for disaster. Like 16 was fastest, what, what do y'all say? Cheesiest 2K ever before uh, they uh, patched speed boosting. And, and guess what? The defense was immaculate. It was the best defense ever and it could keep up. So 2K has to stop with this trying to mimic live or whatever they're doing. They got to throw this engine away 
and go back. How is an old 2K better, bro? You know? Paint defense started to get broken in 18. Ever since then, it became broken. Every 2K before 18 had way better paint D. I played these hoes. I remember, bro, you know? Even though there was issues, but it just was at a less degree, bro. Um, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. Make sure y'all turn on notice. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.